Okay, let's give them a chance, maybe re rebooting or fixing something. Hold on, Rocky. I'm waiting for him to sign. There he is. Let's see if this works now. Okay. Try again. Bingo. Is volume all right, guys? Or is it a bit low? It's okay. It's okay, is it, guys? Yeah? Fine. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, hello, guys. <laughs> uh, a belated happy birthday to Anissa and anybody else that's uh, had a birthday over the last week, by the way. Um... I'm going to do another video, guys. I am going to do a video, uh, and I'm going to put it in three steps. I'm going to show the, the three steps today, or I was going to, but it's a bias day rather than a trend day. But still, you know, I can I can um, uh, show you kind of what, um, you know, how I trade. Um, and then we'll do a Q&A after, yeah? Okay. All right, guys. Uh, the good thing about the video, by the way, guys, is I can put a trending day and, uh, um, you know, and against the trend, uh, basically a bias day on the same video. And you'll understand a bit more. All right. I realize these, a few of you have been going wrong. Let me just put one or two of you straight. Um, uh, who, who just asked me a question? Sorry, my mind's gone totally blank. Who just asked me a question uh, about 10 minutes ago? Oh, God. No, no, I can't remember. It's... Come on, quickly. <laughs> no, it's not ET, Anissa. Somebody just asked me for something. Satoshi, that's it, right. Satoshi, what was it you asked again, mate? Sorry, I've just had that many questions going through my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what it was now. You tried taking the GU down yesterday, didn't you? That was it. Right. Well, the thing is, Satoshi, um, we've been noticing now for quite some time. Uh, don't be sorry, Gigi. You're all right, mate. Um, that these daily supers, if you look on the um, UCAD, let's get an ellipse here, that these daily supers, Right, are really strong. You see that there on the UCAD. You can see it, yeah. Um, and basically, if they don't change, then you shouldn't trade against them. Okay, if, if there's a, a red, yellow, um, or yellow, red, <laughs> sorry, Bia, uh, daily, then you should not be trading against that. Okay, and yesterday, the GU daily, you can still see it there, actually. Um, it's red pink and it didn't change from that it stayed that so in in effect if you were going to go against that then you should have been quick you should have been quick in and out in and out you know i know your way outside i know there's a daily blue right but um as as far as blues are concerned the, the good on the four hours when they get you know a really good strong setup all right but um obviously when it's going up against that daily super uh, you, you'd have been wiser waiting it out. Uh, it did eventually work <laughs> as it happened. You know, if you'd have had a massive stop loss, you'd have been all right. But... Okay. Right. So let's, uh, uh, let me just tell you uh, what I'm going to put in the video. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it in three steps, three simple steps. Rocky, Rocky. I need you to listen now, mate. Gigi, I need you to listen because you ask me the same question every day and I am about to explain it to you now. So if you ask me again tomorrow, I'm going to get Anissa to hunt you down. All right? So basically, three steps to it, right? Step one, identify trend or bias, okay? That can't be 
you know very hard to do yes on tuesday sorry tuesday we had three beautiful trends we had the gu going up the ucad going up and the gcad going up and the eu was a messy trend if you recall i said just you know uh, why are you all focusing on the eu because it was messy at the time it had a four hour red okay a four hour red but it didn't have anything else with it all right so basically that was a potential strong bias because it had a four hour red all right now did you see what happened with that eu it ended up it had a one hour four hour eight hour red yellow and i I think at some point the um, a daily appeared as well, a, a red pink on the daily, right? So it evolved into a really strong bias, but that was a bias, not a trend, because the trend was really hard to read from the one and fours. All right. So today, what have we got on the GU? Let's have a look. One and fours. Well, one saying uptrend, one saying downtrend. Okay, but what do we have? Well, this here says we have a potential bias okay so today on here you wouldn't be trading the trend all right you'd be looking at that four hour and saying right well i want to go over the four hour okay so then you need the signals up okay step two right you look at these two charts here 15 and 30 right to determine where you take the trade from. Now, you know you take the trade from BB bands and orange lines, okay? So, these two charts tell you where to take the trade from. So, there's a great example of it going through now. Okay, this is where the signals, right? This is where, once you've got your direction, the signals going one way and the other can be of a massive massive help to you okay because you see this 30 minute red that's job was to take price to the 15 minute orange line and look what happened okay so you biased up because of the four hour you then had a 30 minute signal tell you where to take it from which is the 15 minute orange line okay then all you needed you looked on these two charts here this is step three, by the way. And you're looking for high Kanashi arrow, uh, an arrow on the five minutes, or momentum. Momentum. So the three very basic steps there. Okay. And um, once you understand them, you'll have cracked this. You'll have cracked this. Okay. Now then, we're biased. I'll get back to that EU bit on Tuesday. You had a four-hour signal. Okay, we had a four-hour signal, but we had nothing with it to start with. Okay, then we got a five-minute yellow. All right. Now, it went up, then it came down, and then it went up again. Now, that was that second move I was telling you about. Okay? That was the second move. You wait for the second move because then you know that that four-hour signal is kicking in. Okay? You take the first one and it goes against you, it shatters your confidence. All right, so I'm going to tell you all three steps yet again. All right, first step, look here for trend or bias. Okay, as, as I've already said, because of the four hour, you're looking at a bias because it's not easy there. You've got the one hour saying downtrend and you've got the four hour, which is clearly saying uptrend, but because you've got a four hour signal, your bias should be up. Okay. All right. So then you're saying up. You look at the 15-minute and the 30-minute charts. This is step two. Okay. You look for a signal that tells you where to trade from. Now, you know, as I've said, it's from the BB bands or the orange lines. Right. Now, that 30-minute signal on the GU took price as it happened because it's a bit slower it took price to the 30 minute orange line but it coincided with the touch on the 15 minute orange line okay so that would have been your entry point all right so as soon as you could see price coming down to this 15 minute orange line you then look at step three which is to look on your Heiken Ashi chart and your five minute chart and look for um, your entry um, basically a Heiken Ashi arrow maybe a five minute arrow, momentum, 
you know, uh, try and correlate the momentum with the X as well. And that's it. And that's it, guys. It's that simple. Okay. Now, in the video, as I say in the video, I'm going to put the trend trades in as well. Uh, trending day in um, from yesterday, or was it Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday. So I'll be able to be um, a bit more specific with, you know, what happened with that EU trade. I'll do it over the weekend, guys. I, I'm really busy tomorrow. Mother's birthday today. So, you know, going for a meal later and that. Um, yeah, so before we go any further, is there any questions on what I've just said there? Does anybody not understand the three steps? Right, because I'm going to go through each pair. All right. Rocky, Rocky, do, do, you, do, do you understand what I mean about, you know, once you've got your direction, that the, the arrows on um, the 15 and 30 tell you where to trade from? Do you understand that? Instead of taking that 30 minute down, Right, you wait because your bias is up because of the four hour signal. You wait to take it up. Do you understand that, Rocky? Good man, good man, because that is important. Gigi, you're the same. Do you understand that? Gigi, come on. It's perfect, Antti, because it, 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 there was a, 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 an example of it going through. Look look at that. Look at the GU 15 minute. I know it's not a lot of pips, but it's, a, it's an absolute perfect example of what, you know, we're, um, what I'm trying to explain. So you're okay with it. Everybody understands what I've just said there in three easy steps, yeah? Yes, I know sometimes... It's hard to read the one and fours. Um, if you're not sure, you can always ask the empties and they'll give you, you know, um, a bit of advice on it. Okay, so right, let's move on. Anyway, um, EU. Okay, let's have a look at the EU, guys. One and fours, red, yellows. Okay, now you shouldn't trade against them until they change, until something happens there. I know we're looking at the fact that we're outside the BB bands on one hour. We're also through uh, the orange line on the eight hour. Okay. Um, but as BR likes to say, look, look what happened with the EU. It was right outside on the daily and look what happened. You know, that's another thing to watch for. If you're right outside like that and you start getting one and fours, then it is going to come back in. So again, you're looking at an up bias at the moment. If you look on your uh, 15 minute chart now, you're very high up, same on the 30. So what you need to do now is wait for a pullback. Okay, so you shouldn't be, in my opinion, unless you get a daily up now, you know, uh, you shouldn't be trading the EU up. It's just too risky. It's going to pull back. Okay. How far is it going to pull back? I hear you say, well, if you get a similar signal to what you got on the GU there, a 30-minute signal, it's going to pull back to the 15-minute orange line. Okay, you understand that? So if you want to take the EU up with that strong bias, wait for it to come back, okay? UCAD, lovely, lovely UCAD. Again, we're back to that daily. Um, you've got a, a great, great against the trend uh, bias here. One for eight arrow, eight hour and this lovely daily here, super. So again, guys, do not try and go against it, okay? Now, look what's happened on the EU here. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you get a daily up, uh, sorry, a 15-minute up, and it takes you to the 15-minute orange line, okay? Sometimes it'll only take it, you know, to the, the five-minute orange line. Depends on the strength of the trend or the actual move, and you can see quite clearly that that is a really strong setup against the trend, Okay? And look where it came off, you know, back down with the daily. It's it's all about patience, guys. Once you understand to read the one and fours, the uh, including the eight and uh, daily, um, then it's just a matter of patience. Once you you know you work on that, you, you, you're gonna crack it. You're gonna crack it. 
Okay, so GCAD. Um, GCAD. Now the GCADs are slightly different, uh, guys. Um, when you look at this, it's a downtrend on the one hour. It's an uptrend on the four, but right, it's got a four hour up. But what's it got here on the eight hour? An eight hour down. Okay, so this this today to me this would be a tricky pair to trade. Okay, I'll, another thing I'll say about the GCAD guys is if the GU and the UCAD are going up, the GCAD will go up. If the GU and the UCAD are going down, the GCAD goes down. Okay, that's 100% every time. All right. Uh, and as you can quite clearly see today, the GU is going up and the UCAD's going down. So, um, and if you look on the 15 minute chart on the GCAD, well, look, look at all the wicks. It just doesn't know what to do. It's been pulled both ways. So today, maybe not the best day, uh, or certainly at the moment, until this bias changes, right, to trade that particular pair. Yeah, I'll just explain that, Gigi. When, when GG, look at it this way, GG, right? The GU, right? For the GU to be going up, that means that the GBP must be strong or the USD must be weak. Okay. Now, for the UCAD to be going down, sorry, for the UCAD to be going up, that means that the USD must be strong or the Canadian dollar is weak. Okay. So if you take the USD out of that equation there, you're left with GBP strong, Canadian dollar weak. Okay, but when they're like this now, as you can quite clearly see, you've got the GU going up and the UCAD going down, the GCAD will struggle. It will struggle. It will go with either the strongest pair of uh, pair, strongest currency or the weakest currency, but it will struggle. Okay. Um, right, so uh what, where we where we at then right so is there any more questions any more questions do you like the simplicity of that three step setup because i if you do i will put it as i say in well i'll, I'll, I'll put it in the video anyway but i'm going to do it on a similar situ situation to what we've got today you know this bias and i will put it in on um a trending day like we had on tuesday okay um yeah it's easy gg but that's um that that's the thing gg in the video i i will explain that to you when you've got a bias you go with the one and fours okay but when you tre you've got a trending setup the one and fours work against the trend okay if you look at the eu one hour look at the gu one hour look at those red yellows they're working against the trend okay I will put it in the video, GG. Don't worry. Um, right. So, uh, is it, do you want to do some questions then, guys? Right. Jazz, on trending pair, one and four, and you get a one hour against it. How to know if a pullback or not? Like the picture I showed you. The picture didn't was a different picture to the one that was, um, excuse me, that you were talking about a Pikachu. I was trying to make head and the tails of it. I don't think you give me the right picture. But anyway, um, how do you tell the different? How do you, how to know if it's a pullback? That's what you're asking, isn't it? Yeah, right. Um, how to know it's a pullback? Well, pullbacks go to orange lines, Pikachu. Okay, so basically, did you see that? Me explain the GU uh, a moment ago at how it had a 30 minute signal. Okay, it took price to the 15 minute orange line. Look, it's perfect that, right? So, if you get a one hour signal on the GU, the chances are, and, and I'll explain something else about that in a minute, guys. Uh, the chances are it's going to take it to the 30 minute orange line. Okay. Now, sometimes it will take it. Um, and thanks, Sergeant Pippa, for this. I, to be honest with you, Sergeant Pippa, I, 
you know, I knew about this, but I didn't want to sort of like explain it in the room. I, I don't want to com complicate things, if you know what I mean. Sometimes when you've got a strong, rigid trend like we had yesterday with a GU up in that, right? Um, it will take price to the, a, a one hour signal will take price to the 15 minute orange line, not the 30 minute. Okay. Right. Um, it's just, just the fact that it's a really strong trend. So, you know, maybe sometimes you could look at the, the 15 minute orange line rather than the 30 minute orange line, but that's the way you should judge it. So if you have a one hour signal Pikachu against the four hour signal, then you can look and say, well, that one hour signal is going to take price to the 30 minute orange line. But if, it, if it's a really strong trend, it might take it to the 15 minute orange line. And then the four hour will kick in again. Does that answer your question, Pikachu? Because basically that's the easiest way to, to read these signals. I mean, that was, that was a perfect, perfect example on the GU there of, of what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, Charles, into the 30 minute was small red on the UC. We should be looking to sell at the 15 minute OR. Yeah, but um, Pikachu, it, the fact is that you you would go with the stronger signal, and the stronger signal would be a four hour up until the time it does its job. But if you've got a four hour like you've got on the GU now, right, let me tell you something that four hour candle on the GU with that red arrow on there only started at nine o'clock it's only an hour old you know it's only an hour old so when you look at the fact that we're trading two and a half hours in here um that could effectively be a trend making signal you know so to think that a one hour will work massively against it is you know a, a bit a bit crazy i but i wouldn't i would always judge that the the one hour would be a pullback okay and then the um four hour would kick in again okay right getting back to mark's question a moment so uh, mark where, where have you gone da, 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 da. uh right and so in theory the 30 minutes more red on the ucad should be looking to sell at the 15 or yes yes in theory mark and the reason it's in theory is because um it could it could be it, the thing is as i say with having a daily and a really 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 strong setup there it may not go all the way back to the 15 minute orange line you understand so what you could look for it might go to here if you look on the five minute this is the thing when you've got a strong trend. You've seen it all this week with the GU um, and the GCAD. It just touched the five-minute orange line and boom, straight up again. All right? And that's basically because of how strong the move is. All right? But the, the theory behind it, and as I say, I've been looking at this now for, well, what, Whew, a good few years, <laughs> you know, and, that, and that's basically um the way you should judge it well that was it rocky that rocky that is exactly but you know when you mentioned it yesterday that is where i knew you'd gone wrong you know what i mean and i thought right if you again rocky look you've got a 15 minute here a, sorry a 30 minute on the gu and the eu now okay so to me unless a one hour appears right um and i will always check as well when we get to this 15 minute orange line on the gu i will always you know check the one hour i'll also keep an eye on the fact you know if momentum's still against me if things are still correlating against me then i won't get in all right but you would kind of you know, um, getting in at the wrong time because a 15 minute would appear or a 30 would appear against you. And that that's when I think you were going wrong. All right, mate. Uh, 
right, 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 right. Uh, no, GG, no. The, 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 you, you're looking at on the UCAB there to turn it. Do you know when I think that's going, GG? Next stop for the, the UCAB. Look at the four hour. Look at the four hour. That's where it's going, the next stop. All right. And it, it may. You'll get a bounce off that line. Most definitely get a bounce off that line up. Oh, how big? Depends on whether. You know, these two signals here are still there. Okay. But would you should you take it up? No, absolutely not. You should wait that bounce out and then look to take it down again. If, you know, the daily's still there. And if, um, you know, well, yeah, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd look to take that down again. But. You know, wait for, if you're not gonna, but you, well, you shouldn't be going in now because you're right at the bottom of the BB bands on every chart. So, what to go up again, watch me. Well, at the moment, look where you are on the one. Now. You're not far off that orange line, are you? Right, look where this 50, 30 minute signal is going to take price to, probably orange line here okay so when it does what you do is you look you want and fours make sure there's no one hour against you okay then look um again at you know step two which is you know your 15 and 30 minutes to see that that 30 minute hasn't gone a red yellow you know um and then look on your hike and your chart or the five minute chart for something some reason to take it up and of course momentum. Okay. Yeah, but this is the thing, Gigi, where you're going wrong. Right, mate. No, I wouldn't. Where you're going wrong, Gigi, is that you're thinking you should take every trade. You by thinking that that 15 minute blue could work. Um and then all of a sudden, let's say uh, um, uh, a red pink turned up on the 30 minute and you're seeing momentum, you're diving in or you're thinking I should dive in it, right? But you shouldn't because the, the one, four, eight and daily are telling you not to. They're telling you, you know, that it's going to go down more. Uh, well, is it the thing with that... Um, Pikachu, right, that signal there you're talking about, this one, isn't it? Right, that's gone. How long ago was that? Two hours? Yeah, two hours ago. Right. So that's gone. However, right, you've nothing against that. But it's that signal there, this four hour, that's dictating the terms, okay? It's gone up a couple of times and come down a couple of times by the looks of it. So I wouldn't look at that 15 minute. I'd look now... Because you've got your bias of up, I'd look now at the bounces. Okay, that's where you look. Instead of thinking, oh, I'll look at that signal, that signal could still be active. Think, uh, four hours probably active, and I'm going to bounce off the 15-minute orange line. Okay? This is the thing with the, where people, I think, are going wrong. They're looking at signals when the, 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 the place really that you should follow the signals of the one and fours all right one four eight and daily right after that unless you're turning price around you should be looking signals to tell you where to trade from and and as i say on the gu that 30 minute signal red down is telling you that price is going to the 15 minute orange line so that's where you'll be looking for a trade up not looking at that red pink here two hours ago you should be looking at the orange line as a signal yeah phoenix yeah uh, how's the jungle <laughs> yeah so let it bounce up gg just let it bounce up Right, Felix, you've brought up a really good 
question there, right? Guys, guys, listen up to this, right? Uh, bounces, right? The bigger the time frame the bounce comes from, the bigger pips it gives you, the bigger the move it gives you. Okay? You understand that? Shall I show you some examples of that? Do you like that? Okay, let's have a look then. Um, right. Let's see if there's a really good one. Let's see if I can correlate it with a signal for you as well. I'm a bit messy today. Everything's breaking orange lines, isn't it? Right. Right, okay, okay. So, did we have a signal again? So, right, the 15 minute there. Look at that bounce off the orange line on the UCAD. Okay. Now, if you just took a trade off the five minute, okay, I can't really give you one because it means scrolling back and that, right? But you might only get, I don't know, five or so many pips. I know that one there looks a good move down. But that is the bounce off the 15 minute orange line. Okay. Here's another example. Look at this one here on the 30 minute. You know, huge pips. You understand? So the bigger the time frame your bounce is on, it's why I actually love the bounces off the one hour orange lines, guys, because I know they're going to give you something nice. Um, so that that is the way to really look at it, you know, think to yourself, well, if I wait, like some people, they, they're getting caught out on the five-minute charts, okay? So if you're getting caught out on the five-minute charts, teach yourself, as Anissa says, sit on your hands and teach yourself to wait for the 15-minute. Because look at the GU there, this trade in the middle, there, it's touched the orange line and then shot up and... Let's have a look, 54 from 40. That's at least 30. That's at least 20 pips that went up, okay, before it came down, that move. You know, so even if you get in late there, you're guaranteed a 10-pip win. All right. Okay, so anybody else? <laughs> Does not surprise me one bit, BR. Uh... Well, you can trust it, Kason. You can trust the touch. Uh, rather than waiting for momentum, um, Anissa does it when she uses the BB bands. She gets in without momentum. So you could trust that touch. You know, the four hours in your favour. Uh, I wouldn't panic, to be honest with you. It's, you're getting momentum now anyway. But it's, you know, if you look at the one hour. Oops. Yeah. Touch the one hour orange line. So, you know, sometimes the trades take a while to get going. So I wouldn't panic too much. But, yeah, you could trust it, Kaysen. You could trust the setup because you had nothing against you. There was no five-minute arrow against you. Um, you know, the 30-minute arrow here did its job. It took you to the 15-minute orange line. Look, you know, so you, as BR said, it's already won, you know. Yeah, PR, yeah, yeah. Well, that's how the MA Kissy started BR because that was all I was doing. It was just as soon as it was hitting it, I, even on an opposite colour candle, I was taking the trade, you know. Uh, Mark H, one hour small EU. Yeah. Um, Yes, yes, Mark, in theory, yes. That will come down to the orange orange line here. Okay. 
Um, it actually looks like the, the one hour orange line's nearer, doesn't it? It's just bouncing now because it's just hit the yellow line there. You know, it's amazing how it, you know, just hits these lines and bounces. Don't ignore the fact though, Mark, if you start, if you get a HA white arrow up and you start getting, you know, plenty of flashing, it's not plenty, it's only one bar at the moment, you start getting plenty of flashing momentum. Are you kidding me, that? Then, you know, don't ignore it. Take the trade. Uh, you, you understand that, Mark? Yeah. It's in an LTOL. Well, I'll just, basically, I've got me direction from the LTs, yeah? Then I'll look at the 15 and 30 to see where it's going to bounce from. Yeah, that's step two. And then step three is to look at the five-minute chart and the HA chart. If I get HA white arrow um, bouncing off a 15-minute orange line because the 30-minute signal said it's going to the 15-minute orange line, I just need, you know, momentum then or, um, well, yeah, momentum, because you, you're you going to wait for momentum when you're bouncing off a big orange line like that. Uh, off the fives, it's a different matter. Oh, oh, I hope Rocky took that. You take that GU, Rocky. <laughs> nice one, mate. Nice one. And that, Rocky, that is how you trade, mate. That is where you've been going wrong. You've been looking at that 30-minute signal and thinking it's going down. You know, but you should look at that 30-minute signal and, and, and it's telling you where you should be looking to trade from. Well done, Mark. And that is all it is, guys. Even on a day to, to, like today where it's, you know, it's not particularly... Um, you know, pretty, is it? But, you know, it, it's still working. Well done, Darwin. Is that all you do, John Wick? John Wick, John Wick. All right, guys, I've got to ask John Wick a couple of questions. Right, just listen to this. Um, John Wick, do you just trade the trade? Trend, sorry. You just go with a trend or the one on four sort of like bias as well. And I notice you've been having some really good um, scores of late. Right, so you do, yeah. Okay, that's another thing about the golden tickets, guys. Um, the number one trade is basically like for today. You know, these biases here, GU, you've got a four-hour signal up. EU's all about um, one and fours, right? So these are number one trades, okay? Um, when you're on a trending day, the golden ticket is number twos and number fours, you know? Yeah, he's been doing really well, Sergeant Pipper. I saw yesterday, I think he was 14 nil on nearly 300 pips or 300 pips. Yeah, well done, mate. Okay. Yeah, the, well, the number three, John, John Wick, the number three basically is um, I would use on holidays, you know, like the 4th of July, it might be quiet. Um, I was expecting it, you know, the number three is to be very, really good over Christmas, but we had some amazing trends over Christmas. Best Christmas I can recall in my time in it. Ranging days, yeah. Ranging days. <laughs> yeah, don't see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gee, you looked at a lovely trade. Mm. 
yeah, I think VR does move the markets. Yeah. So, any any other question, guys? I, I think um, it won't fire off, Mister Panama. GCAD. Uh, well, you've got your four hours, so I mean, you know what's, uh, you should have done. Um, <clears throat> he's just asked me about Kaysen. It was it Kaysen? He's asked me about GCAD there. Lambo. What you should have done, perhaps, is spotted this this signal here. You know, five minute yellows. So, guys, I cannot, cannot praise them enough. Right? If you see a five minute yellow, look at the rest of. You know the the setup. Get you, you did have a four hour, so it would have been a number one trade. Uh, I'm not sure how um, long it was before this signal pit turned up, but just let me show you something. Look at the candle before. Look at the wick. Look at the wick there. You know, in a five minute yellow. Obviously, you had momentum. You you definitely had a ha arrow as well there. You know. But as I say, the best the best days for me for the GCAD are when both the pound and the UCAD are going in the same direction. Yeah, Darwin. Yeah, correct. And, and as I say, I love them. They, I think they're, they're, they're beautiful. They, they give me entries as well as you know uh, an ex exit policy, because if I see one of those, um, and I will, you know, and if I'm in a long t longer term trade and I see a five minute signal, um, and we've just had a big move up, and let's say uh, I then look and see, oh, we're on BB bands on the one hour, oh, we're through the BB bands on 30 and 15. Oh, that's my exit. That's my exit because there's definitely a move down coming. Obviously, you know, if momentum turns. Let's have a look. Yes, yes, you pretty much touched there, Mark. And look where you are, right off the 15 minute orange line. So, yeah, that would have been. Um, did, did you get, yeah, is it green? Green momentum. But yeah, that would have been okay, mate. I'm not so sure how close you are to the orange line there, but even so, it's a number one. Yeah, Odge, um, I I like the whites best, you know. I think the whites on the HA charts are really strong, but it's the odd time when you get the white and the pink mixed together and it's really strong then. Yeah, Pikachu, yeah. Um, that does happen, Pikachu, but sometimes it also it just it just quickly flashes that way. Obviously, if, 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 red, if a one hour red turns pink, then red pink or super, don't um, don't enter. Then wait, wait until it changes. Uh, and not on, it could do GG, but um, I think you, if you look where you are now, GG, you've got a four hour red. But look where you are here now. On the one hour, you need something to push you through there. So, what do you think, GG, is going to be strong enough to push the GU through the one hour BB band? You tell me what you think would be strong enough to push it through. I'm not saying it won't go through, but what I'm saying is what would be an absolute Guarantee four hour ago super or yeah you'd want uh, something new, GG certainly want something new maybe on the lower terms uh, maybe another one hour would do it definitely the four hour su went super absolutely if it went red yellow <laughs> but yeah so you answered your own question there GG you know it's like that's if if, if not what you do is you wait for the pullback again. 
basically the pullbacks if you look where you are here it's struggling to get through the the, the bb band so a pullback is just making room it's just pulling back and then you know if the four hours still there and you're bouncing off an orange line 15 minute or 30 minutes say then um and it's made a bit of room then it'll go up again. Uh, right i missed a couple of questions there guys just let me backtrack a minute Uh, with this GU trade, what would you stay in the trade versus getting out at 50? Well, I think I just answered that case and, you know, you need something to push it through the BD bands on one hour. Okay. So what pair do you believe would be the best in happy hour today? It, that depends on the dollar. But it, today is different, Darwin, because you've also got oil at um, 11 o'clock today instead of its usual 10 30 slot so uh, you could get a double double whammy there <laughs> you know but uh if, if the dollar kicks in the dx kicks in then i think all of them could be you know uh you see blue four hour been there since uh don't see it at the end four hour go super jazz or well gg could it could let's say a 30 minute that 30 minute red disappeared and then you get a, a red yellow on 30 minute what do you think is going to happen you know, it's not an absolute GG. You're looking for an absolute perfection. Definitely, I need to know answer. And, you know, there just isn't one. But the, the answer to your question, GG, is don't take it now. Wait for the pullback. Then get in. Be patient. How would you look at the UC now? How you wait for moms and DX down? Um, well, you could have had your bounce. It looks like there might be a bit more. You see on the one hour here, Hodge, this little bounce here. So, um, yeah, if you get a HA arrow, um, you know, you start getting red momentum, it's going to go down, mate. Okay. You, you see these. The difference between the GU and the UCAD is these here are red yellows and that's a, a red pink. So there's a, you know, where as GG's thinking, will the GU bust that BB band? Well, he's only got a four hour and perhaps the long term trend, you know, in his favor. Whereas the UCAD's got, you know, red yellows and super on daily as well. Um, I'm getting behind the <laughs> right. Jazz, explain the arrows that as a battering ram may need to break walls. Why shouldn't go on first move? Sometimes they do, actually. Um, uh, that's not any question to answer, in all honesty. Um, it, it, it's all to do with the momentum Lakshmi, you know, if there's lots of flashy momentum, it's going to break if there isn't it might might need a second attempt at it step jazz uh, right, let's have a look step two, when it bounces on 15 minutes, does it have to be a signal that does that no, no, Pikachu, Pikachu, look at, there the probably was a signal, well, look, look here on the 15 minute GU, you know, I can't see, that was like, would have been on probably this candle here on the 30 minute, now, whether there was a signal there and it's disappeared, I don't know, but there isn't one there now, is there? But it's still bounced, it still came down and then bounced, okay? So, it's like um, with the GU yesterday and the GCAD 
yesterday, every time it hit the five minute orange line, it just went up. But most of the day, there wasn't a 15 minute signal there saying that it was going to go down to the five minute orange line. You know, that's just the strength of the trend. I'm not saying you should always wait for the signal down to tell you where to trade from. If you, you know, if you're hitting, look at the history, Pikachu. Always look at the history and see what's been happening, right? Um, and you can see quite clearly there. A couple of times it's pierced the orange line on the 15, but most times it's hit the orange line on the 15 and gone up. You know. So bear that in mind. Right. So is everybody happy with what I've explained there? I will put it in the video, as I said, and I will put it in. Um, I will do two. Um, you know, one trending uh, recording and try and get one like this where it's biased. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. And you can see it's working as well. Yeah. But again, should you be taking it, Etienne? No. Let it do its job. Let let that settle here on the 30 minute do its job. Take price to the 15 minute orange line. Right. Then when you get there, okay. Just keep looking. Always, always focusing on like um you know, that LT setup in particular, right? And then once you recognize that, you know, that um, there's no one hour up, which means it'll take it to the 30 minute orange line, then you say to yourself, right, well, this could go down again here now. One hour. Right. Gigi, you mean there was a one hour? I know there was a one hour down before, but you mean there was a one hour down just now? Oh, you're talking about before when it was there. Uh... It's flashing on and off. Um, right. Well, I didn't see it, Gigi, but. And you took it what down? You took the EU up off the five minute BB band. Um, yeah, the one thing I will say at the moment, right, is it's gone slow. Okay. Um, it may be that the fact that that it is now going to go back up again with the four hour kicking in. Okay, you are getting momentum. You are bouncing off the 15 minute orange line. The 30 minute signal did its job. Okay, so DX is red. Um, should be okay, David. It, to me, what would have probably stopped me this, here is the fact that this is all very flat. You know, and like you say, there was a one hour, but it's disappeared. If it, if, I, I think you should still be all right with that. So your price will start coming to take me all out now. As I, so do I get out rather? Uh, To be honest with you, GG, I probably wouldn't have entered the trade. When I judge where the EU is all here, like this now. You know what I mean? I probably wouldn't have got in. It's very flat. Um, do you, should you get out? If the one hour comes back, yeah, I would. Because as you say, it'll probably push price to the 30 minute orange line. Um Let 
me have got reversals on GU as well there at the moment. So I can't I can't tell you whether to get out of GG. That's you know I've, I've done that in the past and I've not been too happy with it. But if, as I say, you want hours come back, so it's up to you. That one I will will probably want to take price here. What you could do is just watch for it and see if it breaks the 15 minute orange line if it doesn't then the chances are it's going to go up all right just don't forget an old guy so if you getting towards happy hour now Normally, GG, I look at the five minute orange line for that. You know, like if you look at the GU there, if I was taking the GU up, say from a long term, um, and then that five minutes broke the five minute orange line there, that candle, if that closes below that, then I would say, right, okay, I'll, I'll close my trade. Okay, because that's pretty much a big indicator the five, five minute orange line as, you know, closing a trade. You might get a retest, but the chances are it'll retest and then go down. Uh, that yeah yeah that's kind of what i mean Arch, yeah um if you say you want to take it down for me now if you look at the gu if that candle closed there and, and we, let's say this is the four hour candle if that candle closed there below let's just clear the thing in again here i'll get the arrow as well so i'm going Right, so if this candle here closed down here, okay, it's below the last up candle there. You see that? It's closed below. So that would suggest to me, if that was on the uh, four hour chart, right, that um, there is momentum to the downside, okay? And that's basically you know um how i use uh how i read momentum on the longer term trades does that answer your question Odd. uh jazz about happy hour let me ask you are you detected truly reversal on happy hour? It would be the coral, the answer for definitely correlation because happy hour, um, Phoenix is all about this here. Okay. Generally at happy hour, it's, it's like NFP where this takes control. The DX takes control. If you look at the three pairs, the GU, the EU, the UCAD, uh, in particular, they're all USD based. Okay. And the USD is the strongest currency in the world. Okay. And, um, that, um, you know, if that takes control and starts flashing big green numbers, then the other three pairs are going to react. Okay. So that would be one way of looking re for reversals, um, true reversals again on the one and fours. You know, sometimes you get a, a, an arrow down. Uh, there'll be a small red and it's been there for a while and all of a sudden it'll go super. You know, but you'll see correlation as well. You'll you'll get one on the GU, you'll get one on the EU and then you'll have one up on the UCAD. That's another thing to watch for. Uh, it used to be that I'd look for five minute correlation as well, say signals, you know, um, going up on the UCAD and down on the GU and the EU. Uh, but because of the 
you know the new tweak it's a little harder to see that now um again if you look on the 15 minutes though look you know you're getting correlation with the gu and the ucad that's another way to look there are lots of different ways it's just i think with a lot of people it's you know how long you've been here how many times you've seen it and i have seen it a lot <clears throat> Right, you're all right with that, Phoenix, yeah? How are you doing, by the way? Are you still doing well, yeah? Still trading with your pet snake? <laughs> it's happy hour. We have both. GCAD for me, happy hour is uh, pretty untradeable. I'm not saying it won't go up, and I'm not saying uh, you shouldn't take it up, but for me, at, at happy hour, between now and you know when you get the dx um explosion i would leave it i, I personally i leave it until afterwards and then make uh you know have a look again and see what the setup say You, you can look for it, Lakshmi. You can watch for it. Um, but because it's happy hour, you know, it probably won't um, just bounce. You're going you're gonna to need something else. I think the next bounce now, Lakshmi, might be off here after one hour. So keep an eye on that. It's possible it might go, well, yeah, it's just hit it, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, it, um, right, Rocky, you, you're still, for me, down on the UCAD, right? So it's not just a matter, but happy hour would say to me, just be a little more careful about this. But you've got correlation, Rocky. You've got GUEU going down. You've got UCAD going up. You know, so if you see the GU bounce up, the EU bounce up, and the UCAD's going to bounce down, you know. Uh, G looking to come down. Well, we'll be good time to get in again to downside. Having confirmation that will continue down through 1530s. Right. Just let me. Oops. Wrong one. Right. So we're here, GG. Yeah. Uh, so you want to take it down now instead of up again because of happy hour. I take it. So you're looking. The first thing to look for, GG, five minute chart. That candle there will retest the five minute orange line as it has done. Right. So you'd be looking for a second move. When it went up there, momentum, red momentum down will be your second move. Okay, or you know, you might see something here on the Hakanashi chart go up a little bit, and then you might get another Hakanashi arrow down. All right, uh, 54, it's dropped now. Mark, Mark H. Um, so uh, let's have a look. You're on the 30 minute OL. Oh, well, you've got a one hour. That's going to take it to there. The four hour will probably take it to here. So it might go up a little bit more, Mark. Okay. If it does, then this is now where your BB bands are. You know? Uh, as to 54, it wouldn't be far off that, mate. Uh, right, GG. You see what happened on the GU? 
touched the five minute orange line. It went up. It was a green candle, wasn't it? it went up, touched it. Now that your second move, then you were getting momentum. So that's your second move. So that would have been your point of entry. All right. Oh, and guys, do you see what I mean about the G CAD? By the way, it told you it was going up, and then look what happened. <laughs> that's half the hour for you. Yeah, well, you've got happy hour for the next, well, it, it could be longer, GG. Just sit it out, you know, just wait. There's no need to, oh, I don't want to take the GU down. So I'll wait, you know. You don't have to tech every trade, mate. It's just, you know, look for the good ones, the really, really good ones. GU, good trade back up. If the four hours still there after this pullbacks, you know, it's probably going to break this line now, but then... There's a chance it'll go up again if that four hour signal is still there. So wait for it. Ooh. <laughs> Darwin, well done, mate. Darwin, how many have you got today? How many pips? You seem to be back on track, mate. And how's little Amelia? Yeah, well pointed out. But again, guys, just look at the 15 minute chart and the, the G card. You know, look at all the wicks. This is what I say when you've got the GU and the G card going in different directions. That's what the G card does. You just took 10 pits live, and, and how many on um, demo, Dalvin? Yeah, I'll bet she is, mate. Yeah. Oh, so happy for you. MT, I need to ask, how's Mary doing? Ah, oh, God, God. No nearer to find it problem than MT, no. Still... Not sure what it is now. <sighs> well, that's good then, mate. All right, so has anybody seen this, by the way? That could disappear. It's only a small red. That's the, that's the difference, guys. You know, when you're talking about supers, red yellows and um, uh, red pinks against small reds. The small reds are not really strong. You know. Yeah. Yeah, good to hear, mate. Good to hear. No worries, MB. MB, United play Arsenal tomorrow night. FA Cup. Big game. <laughs> MB. 
eight o'clock kickoff tomorrow night. Guess where I'll be? <laughs> yeah, they could be rocky. They're playing well, aren't they? Yeah, United are as well, yeah. I'll, well, it'll be more likely Carling ET because I'll go out to watch it. <laughs> yes, way. Stephen Kelly. Yeah, can't can't quite remember him, Lakshmi. Right, anyway, let's get back. Right. Uh happy hour, what's gonna happen? Oh, don't forget guys, oil at eleven. Yeah, yeah, I presumed he's he was Irish. Well, it's happy hour, Matt, so just wait, wait for um, more than just a bounce now. You know, if, if it's going to go up, back up again, bouncing off this one hour orange line here with the four hour, it'll give you a signal anyway. So it is, anyway, it is as it happens, but, you know, there's a signal. Wick, nice wick. But can't end today. See this now. This is where a lot of people think, oh yeah, it's going up. And they're diving right on the orange line here in the five minute. The better thing to do is just wait, just let it do what it's gonna do, come back a bit and then take the next move up. That way you know it's going up. All right. Uh i tell you what, who was saying about you, Cad, on 54? That's not a bad call. <laughs> that can't be far off 54, that, guys. Oh, right. There was your second move, guys. You see? You know, like you had your first one, okay. Your second was the high can ask you why. You know, he could have said there, right, okay, I'm in now. Never spotted it. Uh, you got high can ask you on the EU as well. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, bouncing off the 30 minute OL and off the one hour. Four hour could kick in again now. I think the thing with the um, UCAD, it's going to rock in a minute, guys, because of oil. I, again, yeah, it really doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you could do that, Lakshmi. You can wait. Honestly, you don't have to take every trade, as I say. I know some people are like, oh, well, you can test this, this system that I've kind of you know the steps um tomorrow the day after well monday and so on and so on and so on you know you don't have to take every trade and i mean sometimes empty leaves a room open for an hour so you could you just check it uh, try it afterwards as well you know jeez oh demo <laughs> nice one david Yeah, just remember, Darwin, right? Um, if you don't want to start on Monday because they're usually quiet, then don't don't feel I have to start Monday, you know. But just just do um, what you've been doing, Darwin. You, if you're just going to do one trade a day, like um, uh, BR, BR's plan says, great plan, by the way, yeah, um, then do that. 
you know, you don't have to take 10, 15, 20 trades a day. Oh dear. Right, so uh, who is it you mentioned 54? Well, look at that. You were on 51. Yeah, it's a good idea, BR. It's a good idea. <laughs> the four hour power. Yeah, well, good call, Matt. You weren't far off. It's like 51, so what are you three pips up now, aren't you? The only thing that would worry me, Mark, is the oil is coming and it will move the CAD, you know. EU daily, EU daily came back, didn't it? But look, look, look at four hour now. No more super. Forty nine. For that's eight pips so far. Nice one, Lambo. Ah, uh, yeah, that helps. There you go. That's a 10 pit win, I think, for marking it. 49 to 39. Um, do we think Anissa traded that, by the way? <laughs> okay, Rocky. <laughs> oh, look at this here. Oil. Or is it oil that? Is that oil empty? Or is, did you did you move it? <clears throat> All right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, mate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so getting back to that. Um, UCAD trade, Mark H. If you call us, said it will probably want to touch the one hour orange line. Look at that. Look how perfect that is. see it there well the, the, the best thing to do then Jess right is not to take it you know, not to take a short term trade, say like um, here, to only take it off the 15 minute charts. Okay, if you look at the UCAD, if you wait for that UCAD there. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 and it wasn't long before it went back there. It had, 
half an hour to wait before it went. But if you'd have waited for that, you'll get a few of them a day. If you look at the GU, you had one, two, uh, EU had one and fours. I think we missed most of that. But the UCAD, you had one there, you know. So if you, if you wait for the for that 30 minute um orange line touch instead of uh you know using the five minutes or the the, the ha and just use either of those for your entry if you understand what i'm saying basically your strategy is to wait for a 15 minute orange line touch not a five minute orange line touch or bb bam basically the bb bam will be um the 15 minute orange line touch anyway You understand what I mean, Jess? Yeah. Just basically, instead of taking five-minute orange line touches, wait for 15 minutes. I know today you could have done it easily, right? But on days where you had big trends, like, you know, the last few days you've had some pretty impressive trends. If you'd have done it yesterday, then you could have just stayed open TP, you know, on the GU and the GCAD and stayed in until... You know, it started to reverse. Uh, which one? Last one I called out on the GU. <laughs> Thank you, Lambo. Yeah, on the EU, I also said, though, Jess, that it looked a bit flat. And when things go flat, you know, they have a ten, uh, tendency to, to reverse. I think it was those four candles. Uh, you know. All right. Um, whereas if you look at the four on the EU, the same four candles. Let's have a look at which one. One, two, three, four. I think that was it. One, two, three. Yeah. If you look at the four same four can candles on the GU. Look at it's it's the small red, the green up, the red, and then the green up again. You see the difference? Not flat. <clears throat> uh right, well let's have a look then. One and fours, right? Bias has changed, you're right, yeah. One hour down now. You could say you've got a four hour up. Um, <clears throat> the one hour down, you're on the 30 minute orange line now. So there's a possibility. I, what I would watch for now is that one hour down going super, okay, or four hour disappearing, or the one hour disappearing. All right, because you, you've got two options to take it up with the four hour if the one hour disappears because you're right on the 30 minute orange line. Okay. Um, so, you know, keep an eye on the one and fours and see which one, you know, wins the battle. Uh, EU, let's have a look at the EU. Well, the EU one hours come right down to the orange line. So you could have this, this, now here again it's a similar situation it could go up back up in the four hour you've also got a daily down which might want to see this bb band again so again you're in the same situation here you know it's um it's one of them you, you've got both options on the table do you go with one well wait for a new signal up now you can't just look at a bounce now gu and eu you need a new signal up all right the reason being you've got a lot against you now. Okay, so you need new signals up, fresh signals up, if you want to take it up. If not, then you're looking at the bounces. Down here, that GU there again, and look what's happening on the EU now. 
sitting the five minute and bouncing down. Uh, what else you cad you've got one hour super up now most probably this now will go up to the orange line on the, the one hour again you cad Uh, yeah, probably MB, yeah, yeah. Okay, MB, are you out? See you tomorrow, mate. Excuse me. Yeah, you're getting these signals down now on GU as well. GU, oops. See you later, Darwin. How do I trade this strategy against the trend uh, 15 and 30s? Well, uh, it's best to say there's no real doubt. I'll, I'll put that in the video, Pikachu, because it's not really a, you know, a, an easy trend to show you there. You know, a really good trend in pair. Um, all, all, all it is when you've changed direction. Did you win all three, Rocky? Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute, Pikachu. Did you win all three, Rocky? Good man. Well done. Well done. Well done. Right. When you've changed direction, uh, Pikachu. Um, Right, you had the EU going up and then it turned around, yeah? Now look what's happened on the five minutes. Every time it's come back now from below, it's hit the orange line. It's gone down. You know, so basically what you were doing with the EU on the way up, you're now doing on the way down. Exactly the same. Okay, it's just that you're doing it from below. All right. Is it, Fred? Good, good. Hey, clear the screen for you guys. Is Anissa here or has she gone home? But if you look what's happening, GG, yeah. You know, you, you, well, if you look at the one hour now, you've not got one signal, you've got two signals, haven't you? The first one took it to the orange line, and, and look what the second signal did. Burst it through the orange line, yeah? So your bias now has changed. Same with the GU. You've got a red pink on the GU now. Right? And look what's happening. Every time you're going back to the five-minute orange line, every time, you know, these are quick trades, though. These are like, you know, unless you're going to stay in and do a long term. 
Um, yeah, it's it, it definitely turned around. But yeah, again, let's, you know, even on the G card, look, look, I have to point out how these touches work. They, they, they just touch the lines. It's, it's amazing. They just touch the lines and then they go. You know, the G-CAD could go down now. The, the, the four hours seems to be flashing on and off. So that eight hour could kick, kick in again. Uh, well, if you look at the EU, Arnie, you see where this wick went to here, there, that wick, that wick is the lower, and that's what that BB band leveled out at there, the low, and you see how it's come back up now, that's because of this big move up, here. Okay, and that's why that shot back up. So it's leveling out somewhere, and it will go to wherever the low is of this candle. Okay, that's where the BB band will be. Do I pay attention to them? Yeah, but I wouldn't be looking at the very bottom here now. I would be looking more around that area there. How many trades, John Wick? Come on, tell us. Six running, woo. <laughs> I think a lot of people have a problem when price turns around, you know. Is that, does that tend to be your problem, David? Well, like I say, David, I'm going to do the video and I'm going to show you again what basically what I've gone through today. Okay, and um, use the signals on the 30 and 15 minute that way up until, you know, price turns around. If you can't recognize when price is turning around, ask somebody, is it turning around, you know? But um, nice one, John Wick. But uh, yeah, you know, it, um, and you can see quite clearly what happened today when signals were telling you where price was going to. So if you, you were biased up with the GU up until you hit the one hour BB band, the four hour GU never went super. It never went super. Okay. So effectively that one hour BB band on the GU was its high. Okay. And that, if you look now, that is exactly where it turned around from. All right. So if you weren't sure, you didn't have to take the first move on the GU. Uh, if you look on the five minute charts now, first move down and then you had that green candle. See it out there? Right. But then what happened after that? The second move. Okay. The second move down. You see it there? That's the one you could have gone in because you would have said to yourself then, right, GU has definitely turned around now. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. You, you look at it that way, it's like I didn't take the first move because I wasn't sure it was tur turning around. But now there's another one-hour signal, and it's a super. It's a red-pink. Oh, we're back on the five-minute BB band. 
red momentum, I'm in. Second trade. Okay, and and it ha it's happened again and again on the EU. You can see the, you know, this one here went up five minutes, went up to the green, up to the orange line, and it went down. This one here went up to the orange line, then it went down again. You know, so you had a couple of trades in there. Once you recognised that price had turned, why did you know price had turned? Because you didn't get in the first move, you got in the second move and the third move. All right, so that's how you recognize. This is why I keep saying to people, you don't have to take that first one and then it going against you and it destroying your confidence, okay? Let the first move play out and then look at your, your, you know, your one and fours again. And as I say, the GU, that was a small red a moment ago. All right, it's just turned small red now on me. <laughs> but it was uh, a super. It went super, and, and there was a nice, really nice trade off the five-minute orange line here. Down. See it? That's good then, Lakshmi. Lakshmi, that's good. If, you, if you're noticing things like that, then it's only going to enhance your, your, you know, your options um, and your trading skill. uh basically it's probably at a low now you know you, you this is possible now by seeing this here up against the one hour right that the, the four hour could again kick in but again you can't just take it based on a one hour blue against you know the, the one hour down you need something and because you've turned direction now you need something whether it's on a 15 minute you know, the 30 minute, which you're not going to get for another 12, 13 minutes anyway. Um, you can't just base it on a bounce now, you know, because you, you turned that direction. You're bouncing the opposite way now. Uh, because it's turned round. It's turned round, Mark. Basically, sorry, Pip. Oh, sorry, Mark. You know the the one hours have pushed it down so it had got a bit red okay but you don't always look at that signal now that four hour signal and think yeah um that that shouldn't be going red that candle it happens uh jazz is the br flip up on bands Don't know what that means. See you later, Hugo. The four hour, all oh, the fourth candle. I thought you said the four hour. The fourth candle. Just hang on a minute, Matt. I'm going to look at your question again. Why is the fourth candle on the GU red when it's a bull candle? Fourth candle on the GU red. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. You mean you mean on your own charts it's showing as as green? Is that what you mean, Mark? Bull candle. I'm not I really don't know what you mean, mate, by that. Fourth candle. Just let me one, two, three, four. Do you mean? That one there, Mark. Uh, what do you mean by bull? It 
it's, it looks like a red candle to me. You mean because of the wick? Because there's a small wick on it. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what you mean mate, by it closed bullish. It's, it's, it's a red candle with a small wick. I'm not sure what you mean by a closed bullish. Do you mean it was going up? Not sure, mate. It's, it, it, all I, I'm not really sure what you're getting at, but all I can say is it's it's red, so it's actually closed lower than it uh, opened. Anyway, it might be different on your own charts. You know, you do get that sometimes where there's a slight difference on your own charts compared to MT's charts. That's you know, you know. So it is on yours, right? Yeah, don't worry about that, mate. That's just um the fact that uh you know whichever uh system mt set this up is different to your own broker setup so don't worry about that uh, yeah don't 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 let it plague you Matt, trust me, you don't need to worry about things like that, pal. Uh, what do you mean, last question, GG? <laughs> right, okay, just let me point something out first, GG, before you get carried away. All right. Look, guys. Look. Look, look at the GU there. Look, look. All right. Oh, look at this. 15 minutes. But I, I do recall at the time and all, this blinked off from being super to a small red. Okay, right. Where's that GG question? <laughs> AV bands. You would be looking for trades to upside, but R is so close to bands, and I am looking for bounces down on the R. How do you know the difference whether it's going to go up off that 500 BB band or down from the OR and GU now? Well, it is a five minute signal, a 15 minute signal, GG, and the one hour turn from uh, a red pink to a small red. So that answers that. Basically, what I've 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 ringed, what I've circled there, everything there tells you no. You know, don't don't look for more downs on it. Okay. And I saw that last bit as well, Gigi. That's your last question for life. 